secure and protect your email with DKIM in your Google Workspace email service. My name is Carlos and in today's video, I will show you how to configure DKIM, also known as Domain Key Identify Mail, in Google Workspace. Starting February 2024, Google and Yahoo are checking if this security feature is configuring on all box sender. If it is not configured, the messages won't reach the intended recipient. DKIM is an email authentication method that will help your emails be identified as legit. Some email providers will reject your emails if DKIM is not configured for your domain. In a similar way, it will also happen when your domain meets the SPF record, which is another mechanism to identify that your emails are coming from a trusted source. In case you want to learn about SPF, here is a video that explains all about it. Now, before explaining how to set up DKIM for your domain in Google Workspace, let's see how DKIM works. DKIM adds a key or digital fingerprint to your emails. This is an encrypted code that can only be decrypted by another code that is publicly in your DNS. Think of it as a secret handshake between your email and the receiving mail server. When you set up DKIM for your domain, you generate a pair of cryptographic keys, one private and one public. The private key stays with your email server and is used to create the DKIM signature for each outgoing message. The public key is published in your DNS so everyone can see it. When you send an email, the receiving servers get your message with a DKIM signature in the header. This is the moment when the receiving servers check your email. It looks for the public key that has been published in your DNS and uses to decrypt the signature. If everything's matched up, the email passes the DKIM verification. The way how you set up the KIM or turn it on for your domain name may vary depending on your email provider. In this particular case, we're going to see how to configure it if your email service works on Google Workspace. To follow these steps, you will need to access the Google Admin Panel. So I will access my account, which has the super admin role. First, I will log in into my account. Once I access it, I will click on the nine little dots on the upper right corner, and I will need to click on the admin icon. Within the admin panel, I need to click on apps, then on Google Workspace, and then on Gmail. On the right, I will need to scroll down until I find Authenticate Email. I click on it. Here, I need to select the domain name for which I need to turn on DKIM. By clicking here, I will be able to select what domain name I want to set up. This is a Google Workspace account where I have configured different domain names. In this case, I'm going to use my default domain name, which is askitb.xyz. Then below, I will find the instructions to turn on the KIN. I can see here on their status that says no authenticating email. So I need to turn it on. I can also read, you must update DNS record for this domain name. So the process starts by generating a TXT record. Then I need to click on generate new record. We can select if we want to use a 2048 bit or a 1024 key. You need to check or verify if your DNS provider support 2048 bits. If not, you will need to use 1024. In this example, I'm going to use 1024. As a prefix for the TXT record, Google suggests to use Google. You need to know you must wait 24 to 72 hours after enabling Gmail before you can create the Kim record. It means that if it is a brand new Google Workspace account, you will need to wait this time after activating your email account in Google Workspace. So I will now proceed to generate the code. And here below, I have the generated code. This is the value of the TXT record that I need to add to my domain DNSs. And as a name for the TXT record, I need to add this google dot underscore domain key. So I'm going to copy this value and now I will switch to my DNS manager. 
my domain DNS manager is within a cPanel. Before proceeding with this step, you will need to check where you can manage your domain DNSs. Now I'm going to access the cPanel in a different browser. I open it here, I need to scroll down, I need to find domains, and within domains, I need to click on Zone Editor. Since I have different domain names, I will need to click on Manage under the domain name in question, which is askitb.xyz. As we have seen in previous videos, within the DS Manager or Zone Editor, I will be able to add the TXT record that I need. As you may know, these are the different records that has my domain name. On the right, I will be able to click on Add Record. And here I can select the type of record that I want to add. Then I select TXT and I paste the name that I copy from the Google Admin Panel. Now I'm going back to the Google Admin Panel and I will copy the value of the TXT. Now I switch back to the C panel and paste the value here. Now I click on Save. My TXT value has been added. If I scroll down, I can see that the TXT record has been added. This record will start propagating over the internet from now on. And this is the code that will be read by any server that receives my emails. And they will be able to decrypt the signature that they are added to my emails when they are sent. Now I will switch back to the Google Admin Panel. After adding the TXT record, I need to click here, Start Authentication. This will actually turn on the DKIM signature. As you can read here, it may take up to 48 hours for DNS changes to fully propagate. Now I will click on Start Authentication. If I scroll up, I can see here that the status now is Authenticating Email with DKIM. That means that DKIM is now on. All my emails will be signed with the DKIM signature from now on. If for any reason you need to stop the authentication or turn it off, you just need to click here, Stop Authentication. DKIM helps prevent email spoofing, where scammers forge the sender address to trick recipients. It also ensures messages integrity, meaning the content hasn't been altered in transit. DKIM often works alongside all the email authentication protocols like SPF for added security. Implementing DKIM improves email deliverability and protects your email reputation. It also builds trust with recipients who receive your emails. Well, this is how DKIM works and how it should be configuring in Google Workspace. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more tech tips. I am Carlos and I hope to see you next time. And remember, stay secure, stay tech savvy.